Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the W. I'm glad you're joining me today. Today, we're going to check out two new toys that's done followed us home. We got an IH on this side and maybe a Cole on this side. Y'all stay tuned. Let me know what y'all think about this one because me personally, I'm confused. So, hopefully you can answer some questions we got today. And we can check out two cool new toys. But come on. Let's get to checking these things out. Alright, so first up is this IH. Now, my dad got this from my uncle. He called us up out of the blue and said we could probably use it a lot more than he could right now. So, we went and got it. And... We done greased all the fittings and everything. I had one fitting that would not take grease over here, but we still got some grease on them. Uh, we did manage to get everything to working on it. Uh, I only have one plate for it as of right now. And that's this one. But I know for a fact this plate We'll plant uh, pink eyed purple hole peas. And he used this plate to plant corn with. So that's what we'll be planting with this one soon. Some good old pink eyed purple hole peas. And next year we'll be planting all of our corn with this one. Well, all of our sweet corn. Uh, I do have to find some plates, so I guess I'm going to have to get on eBay and look for some. The cool thing about this one is my uncle is a fabricator by trade, really, and a welder. He got tired of having to run two pounds of seed in this hopper right here, so he fabricated this little piece right here, if y'all can see that. Now, what this piece right here does, I can put a half a pound of seed right here in this little pocket. And it fills it up to about right there at the bottom of that bolt right there. Now, that helps out tremendously. If you've ever planted in one of these planters, you will know that you've got to keep seed in them. Well... Sometimes you don't have a whole lot of seed. Sometimes you right scarce. So my uncle done this right here, and I think it was a extremely smart idea. So I'm thankful for that. Uh it works. Me and my dad have put some seed through it to make sure that everything's working right and all that and everything seems to be working right we've like i said we've greased everything and pretty soon we're gonna be putting some seed in the ground so i think everything is set up pretty good i don't know a whole lot about these planters oh uh, this is my first time using planters like this when i was a kid we used a little earthway but it's all broken up and everything now. So, uh, let me know what y'all think about this. You know, it's, I think it's set up to run 24 cells. I'm not 100% certain on that. Y'all would know a lot more than I would, most of y'all. Uh, but yeah, when I turn this wheel, yeah, you know, I, I got it, had it set up on blocks, turn the wheel, and with the setup it has right now, it puts out a seed about every two and a half to three inches, about like that. Well, that's perfect for pink eyed purple hole peas, honestly. That's exactly the spacing that I want with them, because I want them thick. So, that's what we're going to do. Probably here in the next video or so, y'all. Y'all gonna see us plant some 
Take out a purple old piece because I think between me and Daddy, we got about three pounds of seed to put in the ground. So that's what we got on this one. Uh, I will be taking this one completely apart. I'll be restoring it back to its former glory and everything. Not saying that it ain't nice now, but you know, when somebody gives you something like this, this we didn't pay for this. This was free. You know, my uncle told us, "Y'all take it. That you can get more use out of it than I can." You know, that right there is that's something, something special. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna make it look just like it did the day it came from the factory. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna work nice. Uh, hopefully y'all be able to tell me a few things about it. I gotta buy me some more plates. I I don't have any of them, but you know, it looks like eBay has a bunch of them. So we'll be going on there, getting some from eBay, and we might go to our lo local local little place up here in uh, North Carolina, and we might buy a few from them. They they awful expensive up there, but we're gonna have to do what we're gonna have to do. So. That's the international. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Give me some ideas. Let me know what it is. I don't know whether it's a 184 or 186. Uh, somebody told me it might be a 187. I had never heard of a 187. Uh, so let me know. Uh, I'll give y'all a walk around real quick. Let y'all see it. See if anything stands out to where y'all know exactly what it is. Um, So this here's the planter. It does have the short hopper on it. That's my linkages and everything in the back. Come around here to the other side. That's the way it looks. So let me know. I know it's international. But what kind is it? That way I can get the numbers for it. Alright. Next up is this one. This one, as you can see, it says coal. But it runs these lustrium plates right here about like the John Deere's do. Uh, so I don't know what this one is. Now, my dad seems to think it's a John Deere planter. I don't know. I know that coal did come in green. Uh, and it kind of looks like coal green instead of John Deere green on it. So, I'm at a loss for this one. Uh, only good thing about this one is I do have a few plates for this one. I have... This one right here, and I have the one that's in it right now. All right. Let's see. Oh, boy, see that? I've been trying to get this thing to work, and this one does not want to work. I also have this one. Now. I tried putting, this was advertised as a coal planter, uh, actually a coal fertilized hopper, that's what it was advertised as, uh, but I, I knew better, uh, this thing ain't set up for fertilizer, uh, so I'm not 100% sure on this one either. Uh, this one I do want to find out a little bit more about before I start throwing money into it and you know trying to get everything for it as far as plates and all that stuff I haven't had a whole lot of luck getting this one to drop seeds right but I think that's because of my plates um 
if I could find the right plates for it, I'm pretty sure it would, it would be just fine. Um, now, oh, I'll show you this. I do have a broken ear back here. And there was only one when I got it. And evidently, it was cracked. And it broke off once I got home. So there's nothing to hold it down back here. I don't... I'm not 100% sure whether this is cast or not. As sharp as it broke off, I want to say it is. But either way, I can weld it back. That's, that's not a problem. I have rods to weld cast iron. Or we can braise it back. It's, that, it's not a problem for us. Um, that's what we done for a living for a long time. So... Uh, that ain't gonna be a, no big deal to fix that little ear and if I can find something to fix the other ear I will so that's what's going on with this one um, everything turns good everything feels good on this planter it just doesn't want to drop seed no matter what kind of seed I've put through it though uh, I've put a couple of different kinds of seed through it, as you can see on the ground. And nothing really wants to go through it, really. Uh, but we'll get it figured out, no problem. And if y'all know anything about this, let me know. I know Cole ran luster and plates on the later stuff. Is what I've been reading. But. I don't know. So. Let me know. Uh, I do know this. I have coal brand plates. They do not work. These two right here. These are coals. They don't work. These. These do work. So, I don't know what kind these are because they're so rusted up. But, these work. So, I don't know whether these are coals also. Or, John Deere or, or what. So, y'all let me know what's going on with this one. Because, I'm at a loss. But, either way. It's still pretty cool, in my opinion. So, let me give y'all a walk around on this one. Y'all can see it. Something might jump out to y'all saying, hey, I know exactly what that is. And if you do, let me know. All right. So, right here is one side. You see the plates. Everything. See inside the hopper. Come on this side, y'all see how the chain is set up on it and everything. And view from the front. All right, y'all. Well, I know this was kind of a shorter video, but I was kind of excited about my toys, and I wanted to show them off. So here they are, and uh, let me know what y'all think about them. Let me know what they are, really. If y'all have any insight on these two planters, please feel free to share them, because, like I said, I've never used these types of planters. Uh, so any and all help would be helpful so that's gonna do it for this one i appreciate y'all joining me please like subscribe share comment all of the above and until next time remember almost not coming back anymore but jesus is
So y'all get ready for it. We'll catch y'all.